How's it going and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video here on YouTube. Today we're going to be showcasing some Cinderace gameplay. Cinderace will refer to as an all damage carry, which means that it gets the majority of the damage that it's outputting every game from simply auto attacking the enemy team. The two skills that we're going to be taking on Cinderace in this video, Blaze Kick and Flame Charge, allow us an incredible amount of mobility so we can stay alive longer to get as many auto attacks in as possible. Blaze Kick is an incredible mobility and disruption that lets you jump into a target and then jump off of them in whichever direction you choose. This not only stuns the thing that you're targeting, but notably can be used on wild Pokemon to reposition yourself around the map. The crabs in the mid area are a good example of this. You'll often use a crab blaze kicking off of it to either catch up to someone running away or get away from someone running you down. Flame charge is a more straightforward dash attack. This is a very short cooldown. Now, as far as the item loadout goes for Cinderace, I think Scope Lens and Muscle Band are two must-play items in any of these auto-attacking, all-damage carry characters, but the third is kind of a dealer's choice. Buddy Barrier is definitely the item of choice for a while, but with the nerf to that, I think there's definitely merit to playing Focus Band in this slot as well. It's a little bit of a trade-off. Focus Band makes you stronger early, especially that first bees gank, because you're more durable. However, Buddy Barrier is nice because it lets you use your Unite move in the mid to late game to save yourself from sticky situations. So, Definitely think there's merit to either, and I'm playing Buddy Barrier in this video, but I also think Focus Band is worth considering if that fits your play style better. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the highlight. I'm going to be playing Cinderace in the central area, which I think is definitely where it excels. This character struggles to contest last hits if you go top or bottom path, and coming out of that central area at 5 and then eventually 7 for the second rotation with Blaze Kick just lets you be so impactful inside of these team fights. I hope you enjoy, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon Unite here on YouTube. I'm actually kind of glad I switched to Cinderace this game because Charizard it does not feel great into Hoopa or into, sorry, into Trevenant. I don't know why I said Hoopa. I was looking at Hoopa on our side. Our... Our Zero Aura is here. Okay. Right, we definitely want to gank bottom because that's where our friends are. Hoopa, Hoopa Ninetales is also a really strong path. So in general, showing up for your first ambush to a path that's really strong gives you the best chance of getting knockouts. They also have a Charmander in this bottom path, which is super weak early, so that's good for us. Help them clear that off, because bees are coming up here. I've not seen their central area character yet. It's item out of it, so that's nice. We're three range characters. We could reasonably like poke them here, and then they step off the point here, and we can just like get them. All right, I cannot waste time here. What is wrong with Zero Aura players, chat? This is the worst part about. They're playing. They're playing against a Decidueye in path. Yeah. Or maybe the Decidueye was their center. Maybe that's it. Oh, they got a double here. Good stuff. To the follow Brawl Stars Good afternoon. Ah, walking up into a Nine Tails and a Hoopa as a to slash bold strategy, Cotton.
But now there are Audino spawns. I'm gonna clear the Audino before we do the objective, just because it would give me my. It would give me my next level. Setting. I did not have a very good Unite move there, chat. It's a little unfortunate. Now, our Ninetales, however, they had a very good Unite move. All right, I think we're on the, I think we're on the Rip It plan. Stuff. They're just they're just I fired off an arrow at a mediocre time, so Yeah, Blissey came down at seven. Our top path lost to a Blissey. <laughs> I guess I guess the Decidueye went there too, but like still. Zero, Zero Aura is just an incredibly weak Pokemon. It, it really, it really needs a buff. Let's try and back up so the Aegislash can't jump onto us here. Good micro play there. think the opponents are kind of positioning well up top, so I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh... This is a... This is a wood hammer tree. I think wood hammer is pretty good in fives. I do not think wood hammer is very good in solos. Just doesn't let you carry the same way curse lets you carry. I want to save my unite move here for the second dreadnought fight that just came up on the timer. Ideally, we want to take a bit of a push down here and break their point, I think. Try it out. Try it out. Run me in the mid, bud. Chat. Listen, Chad, I played a lot of Aegislash and a decent amount of Cinderace. Under knowing, understanding how to micro around Aegislash goes a long way. You can make it look really embarrassing. Cinder, Cinder is still one of the best carries in this game, Chip. Unfortunate the road tab healed that Charizard, otherwise we'd have got it. What are you guys doing? Whoa, what are you doing, Blastoise? That was an awful unite. Alright, well. My button there was not ideal, but I was actually all alone. Both of our both of our teammates like bounced out. Koopa does not have Unite, 
something to note. There's Hoopas Unite. God, Red Boxer is so good. Just actually perfect right at the end. Huge lead. Love to see it. We want to... Our goal for this fight, chat. Don't get Charizard United. That's the, that's the goal. Don't get Charizard United. Don't die with our Unite move. Cinder's cracked yet. Cinder's cracked. Easily, easily one of the best solo queue center path characters you could play. 86k, 10 knockouts. Rabbit, rabbit's real good. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. What did you think of today's match highlight? Let me know in a comment down below. What other characters would you like to see highlighted here on the channel in the future? You can let me know that as well. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you back again tomorrow with our Pokemon Unite video here on YouTube.